What a wonderful day, or or so you could assume. I don't know. I'm not gonna make assumptions about how your day has been. I can't know because it's in the future. This run is being recorded days in advance before it even goes up. How would I know how your day has been? I'm not clairvoyant. I don't. I can't tell the future, let alone of a complete stranger. Unfortunately, if I had that ability, I feel like I'd be using it for different stuff than making Isaac videos on YouTube. Perhaps. I, I think that's a safe assumption to make. Yo, I'll, I'll gladly take Burn Penny. Hell yeah. Anyway, this this run is being recorded the very day that the channel hit 1k subs. Uh, yippee, I guess. That's a... Yeah, there you go. Let's get that out of the way. I, I'm, I'm happy, man. I This channel, again, it was mostly an experiment to see if uh, I can pull off daily uploading. The fact that it has worked out so far is splendid. I love it. I'm, I'm glad that people are watching whatever the hell I'm putting out. I'm glad people are enjoying it. Thankful for that. Appreciate you and all that. Let's keep it rolling, right? Let's see how far this little experiment, this little little cheeky little thing can actually go. I, I, gen I genuinely was not expecting it to happen this quickly. Like when I when I set when I started the channel, when I set out to um when I set out to like just try making some Isaac videos, oh, how hard can it be? I set 1k subs is like a nice little first goal. I did not expect to hit it so quickly. It it really caught me off guard. I, I was not expecting it. Also, there's a ton of money on this floor. They're actually gonna let me get mom's key, aren't they? And thanks to Burnt Penny, I keep getting my friggin' uh, bombs back too. This is crazy good. Let's uh, make sure I can get I can get the key though. So I'm gonna blow up the, the dono machine for it. Okay, I didn't have to, but better safe than sorry. <laughs> hey! Oh, that's gonna be so good. Also, there is a coin there. Yeah, I guess I'll grab the battery charge. Look, I wasn't trying to, but... There was a coin behind it. What can you do, man? I, I wanted the coin. <laughs> I gotta pick my poisons here, and at this point, I'd rather I'd rather it be that. I also haven't played the game in a day, so pardon me. If I end up taking some stupid damage that you would uh, rip your hairs out at, um, let me know in the comments below because it drives engagement, but also, <laughs> you know, I'm just making the excuse right now. It's not like I edit out any time I take damage anyway. Like, if I get hit in this fight, you'll see just a sudden cut to me beating the boss. It's almost like you could verify if I've taken damage or not by just looking at my HP before and after a cut, but what if I find a cheeky way to edit over it and then you wouldn't be able to tell? Hmm. There you go, I beat the boss without getting hit, smile. I have bombs, I should check the other secret room. I don't think I'll ever be wanting for consumables, matter of fact. Getting mom's key like this early in the run is absolutely nuts. It's it's crazy. Yo, that's huge as well. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely re-rolling you, I'm sorry. Not worth it to take freaking suplex that's for sure lost soul could be worth taking i'll leave you around until the end of the floor and then i'll decide whether i roll this again or just take lost soul you getting out of your little corner is nice hey hey no 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 don't go back in what the hell yes get out of there yes yes okay now i can actually deal with all this garbage here. okay well there goes my soul heart it was fun while it lasted can you get out of there hey okay never mind i never punished it's all it's all good what's in here i, I have keys i want all of this i want all of this and I will get all of it. When I want something, I will get it. The real question is, do I get jumper cables or battery first? I feel like considering I'm using the D6, I feel like battery is going to be more important. Because, like, jumper cables is obviously great and usually better. However, in this unique case, if I could only get one between jumper cables and battery, I think I'd rather have the battery. That being said, because I have mom's key, I am likely to get so much money that it won't matter. <laughs> that I will probably be able to just buy everything anyway. Let's do that. Might as well blow this guy up. It's not like I'm short on bombs. Uh, I might as well shoot all the poops here too. See, it gave me another penny. That was worth it. Just another little penny. Just to add to the pile of my immense wealth. Two whole cents to my name. Who can say they've done that? I do want triple A battery. Triple A battery is crazy good. Anyway, it's Rainmaker. Which which funny name am I giving him today? We went with Eugene last time. How about Harold? That's that seems like a fun one. Am I am I gonna use the reuse the same exact file in post editing if I make this joke again? Uh maybe. Maybe I will. What are you gonna do about it? It's gonna be a running gag now. I need those, right? That's like what you do as a YouTuber. You need to have like a channel identity, so you need to have like running jokes and shit like that. Things that like Kind of make you tell like what what your brand is. Obviously, I'm going Angel Deal, so I'll reroll that. And uh, well, you know, I'll I'll do one more. <laughs> I'll I'll do you one more. I can do better than just a range up. I that was very funny. That was a very funny game. I oh I'm laughing. I I am oh. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess I'm taking Lost Soul down to the next floor. <laughs> he better pay out with a crazy item. Uh, if not, then unfortunate. Look, we'll get at least one payout out of Lost Soul. 
If this one payout is decent, then that's fine. At the very least, if he pairs up with soul hearts and stuff, it's it's gonna be use useful for me. You know, it's not gonna be like I'm playing the lost and half the payouts that lost soul can make are bad. Item, perhaps? Okay, yeah, soul hearts is fine. I just said that I'd be completely okay with it, and here we are. Curse of the blind, by the way. You have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Okay, hold on. Let me go to the shop, see if there's a black candle. If I can get rid of this curse of the blind, that would be huge. Oh, there goes Lost Soul. Thank you for taking the hit for me. Mmm, that is not a black candle. I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't know what it is, but I know it can't be black candle because it's 10 cents. <sighs> Let's just take it. Okay, it's fine. Look, yeah, like, yeah. What was I gonna know? Like, it could have been death certificate for all I know, right? So I, I have to just pick it up. I can't, like, just roll it blindly. Last rags. Okay. Also not great, but also not terrible. Let's fight the boss. It's blub. I don't fear. Yo, 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 hey, 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 hey! What the hell? I wrote a personal space, buddy? You should try it sometime. It's very good for you. Ah, oh, Mr. Dolly's fine. Hell yeah. Okay, no angel deal. Uh, bit of a bummer. But I guess not getting an angel deal on the blind floor isn't that terrible. At the end of the day, uh, I would have uh, not known what was in there. And then I would have beaten myself up over it on the, on the blind pedestals. Grabbed maybe, I don't know, stigmata. And then I, if I had rerolled it, it would have turned into Sacred Heart, right? So I'm definitely not coping. I think uh, the fact that the angel deal didn't show up on the blind floor is actually like a good thing. Let's just... Uh, I'll reroll the knife piece. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll, I'll reroll re the knife piece. The D1, okay. Uh, let's roll it again. Little Brim. Cool, that's fine. Thank God for Little Brim. He actually makes dealing with those guys easy. <laughs> He's already paying dividends. Unprecedented damage output. Alright, experimental. Uh, range down. Luck down, that's fine. I even got HP. Luck down sucks a little bit, but at the end of the day, it's not gonna end my run, right? When it comes to, like, overall impact on, on your run, low luck, not bad. Not great, but not bad either. Like, it's not gonna get you killed, as opposed to some other stats being bad. So, I'm, I'm all for it. Oh, a golden pill. Tears up is nice. Shot speed down is whatever. I'm... I'm gonna hold onto this golden pill. Maybe there's a way for me to get gold, good pill effects on this floor, because I'd rather have good pills before I use it. Oh, there goes Lost Soul again. I kind of put that one on myself, but still. Miter's fine, dude. I'll just take it. Like, I, I, I can't re-roll it in perfect conscience. It's not a, it's not reasonable to do, in my opinion. Okay, I don't care about Remote Detonator, but I'll grab it for the free bombs. Um, and then re-roll it. Boom. PhD! Oh my god, I can't believe holding onto the golden pill actually worked. Alright, let's go. Let's, uh, spam Q. Uh, tell pills out of it, okay. A lot of 48 hour energies. If there's anything I want to reroll this floor, I should definitely go ham. These telepills scare me, man. I don't want to go to the error room. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop using the pill until I'm done with the floor. It has been paying out for a while, which is crazy. I'm at the tears cap and everything, but I will wait until the end of the floor until I continue using it, just in case. Plus an inverted moon card. Holy shit. Okay, we're about to do the biggest plays in the world. Nope. Nope. What are you, world card as well? Show me the crawl space. Spider baby? Nah, that's that's another reroll target after we're done with this ultra secret room. Let's roll some more. Boom. Nope. Boom. Nope. Why is the like the ultra secret room pool is kind of kind of wild, right? Like half of it is actually like really really like some really good items in there, but then part of it is also just like utter crap. <laughs> There's like some really really bad uh, items in there. Boom. Eh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, baby, you love to see. Okay, let's roll this uh, crawl space a little bit as well, right? I I am happy. I am very glad I committed to rolling that ultra secret room. Mm -hmm. It's probably going to be an angel D on this floor as well, which means I might not want to use all my charges on here, but I don't know, man. I might settle for something sooner on this room. Like, I didn't want to settle on the ultra secret until I got something crazy. But on this, I might settle sooner. Yeah, like, sulfuric acid is fine. I'll settle for that. I'd rather save my charges. Because I am not sure if I can get another one. I could have probably bought a battery, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. It's been a while since I had like an early brim like this, man. That's happy. That makes me happy. It's happiness inducing. Let's see what's here first. Hornfell, my beloved. Little, little scoundrel. But like in the, in the cute way. He's kind of just, uh, kind of just like a little mischievous. Coat hanger is fine. No deal, really. Actually, no, Coat Hanger doesn't do anything right under the tears cap. Oh, well. I will guess I'll try to get you to pay out? I'm not gonna use the Wheel of Fortune card, that's for sure. Okay, well, we're done with the floor, so, um... Okay, it finally ran out, and it didn't telepills me into 
uh, hell, so that's nice. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll fight for these. They are likely to have some good stuff for me, perhaps, given, given mom's key and all that. I forgot there's a second one here. I was like, I only saw the one on the right. I didn't even pay attention to the one on the left because it was too close to me. It's like the Isaac player thing. At least that's how I play the game. Where I've developed like a blind spot to where I am on the room. Because I know where I am on the room. Like, I parsed the information where I was when I entered the room or when I last checked. Like, I don't know. Like, let's say it like this. Me looking at my player and Isaac, like my character, is like a... It's like an adaptive refresh rate, like your monitor would be. Yeah, it's a nerd reference. Who cares? Well, like, my normal... Like, me scanning the room is like at the normal, like, 60 FPS the game runs at. Me looking at my player character is at, like, 10 FPS. Like, I, I glance at where my player is way less frequently than I glance at, at everything else in the room. Because I know where my player is for the most part. I positioned him there. I, I know what's going on. So, yeah, I think that's, like, a good way to explain it. So whenever an enemy spawns right next to me, I have to explain what happened in that in that combat room. What happens is when they, when an enemy spawns right next to me, I'm not I'm not scanning down there because I know my player is down there and uh, one thing leads to another. I end up getting hit. It's basically just a very roundabout way for me to explain why I took damage there and why it's justified. Isaac player is going out of their way to make up uh, explanations as to why they took damage there. By the way, rip lost soul. Maybe I should have taken BFFs, huh? <laughs> if there's a sack room on this floor, I should... I, there is, actually. I should play that. It's Gideon, of course. I should have known. Anyway, whoa, I think I just won Holy Light. Oh, man, I do just want Holy Light. <clears throat> it's just kind of good. Even with two luck, it's it's kind of good. You know what's also been, like, interesting? Uh, now that I've been, like, running this channel for, <clears throat> you know, one and a half months, I've, I've realized this, this thing where, um, obviously, like, some videos, not all of them, but most of them, I want to, like, just talk about something that's been going on on my mind, right? I always workshop bits that I want to talk about, because things go through my head all the time, I just think about them. And then I realize, wait a minute, why do I, why would I just, like, think or talk about this to myself, when I can just save it, and then bring it out into the world in this format, and talk about it, and then have people engage with it in some way, shape, or form in the comments, however they like to. Or just, like, get something out of it when listening. I, I don't really care, right? <clears throat> it's just fun to do. And I've realized this thing that this is... Some some days I just don't have anything to talk about. I don't have any bits workshopped or anything prepared. Or I just don't think that it's right to talk about... Like, right, like, right time, right framing to talk about something. Whatever. <clears throat> I've realized that there's this fine line where, realistically, considering the channel is always going to be growing and there's always going to be new people watching the watching the videos, I could probably recycle bits from older videos that people haven't heard yet. Or maybe bits that only people from have heard, like, if they've, they've been stuck in, around for a while. And maybe they even forgot what the bit was, right? I could totally recycle material if I wanted to. I don't have to be so such a stickler about it. The <clears throat> fun bit about it is, though, I... I can't really do that, not because I'm afraid of recycling material, that's whatever. Uh, it's more so that this is this this channel, I've realized, acts more like a diary for me. It's like it's like some form of diary, where I just you know, talk about what's been going through my head, I talk about what's, what's what my life's been up to, if there's anything special going on or whatever. And even though I tend to forget what I've talked about in these videos by the time they actually go up, because like, you know, when I see people commenting on, on the videos whenever they go live, obviously I read every comment, and uh, at least for the time being, I try to reply or heart everyone as well. Realistically, a lot of the time when people talk about like something that I specifically mentioned in the episode, I always have to go back and actually watch because it's been a couple of days since I recorded it. Uh, I don't remember what I was talking about. So I always have to get like a frame of reference again, which is I think is pretty funny. <clears throat> I think that's pretty funny. You can be inclined to disagree. It's just my own experiences. That's what I talk about here. But but yeah, it's, I think that that is pretty cool. I mean, just earlier today, for instance, when I was taking a dump in the morning. I workshop three different bits. When will you get to hear them? Who knows? We'll, we'll see. One day. You'll never know which one was a toilet bit and which one was the one I came up with while having breakfast or taking a shower. But they all happen. What is in this item room? Roll me. I don't care much for that either. I'll just take the mystery item. Okay, it's sissy long legs. Whatever. Because I want to save charges for more important rerolls, I feel. Let's just play this a bit. Maybe pray for just the angel item payout. Or just teleport me to it, that's fine too, yeah. I want to roll this. I don't care about flight enough. Although this would give me Seraphim. Now Seraphim would give me flight anyway. Yes! Uh, I definitely don't want to take Sword because it overrides Brim. So I'll just take Mantle. <laughs> Which gives me Seraphim, by the way. So, there you go, I got Holy Grail. Yo, Rosary? Roll me. Ah, uh, nah, I don't want that. Oh, never mind. I'm definitely getting another charge on this floor. Matter if I'm getting two full charges. Let's go. Nah. Ah, whatever, it's a damage up. Okay, I'm not safe here. Yep. 
Thank God for Holy Mantle, I guess. I might actually get Perfection. Can keep myself safe for long enough? Okay, well, not this floor. But at some point, I might get Perfection in this run, which would be crazy. That is great, because it's damage. Ah, oh, man, it's gonna... Like, next floor is gonna be a greed shop for sure. Like, so I've got all this money and nothing to spend on. Friggin' Curse of the Lost as well. Sucks ass. Well, there goes Lost Soul again, by the way, because that guy just had infinite range on his whip. Infinite instant transmission whip. You love to see it. This wasn't a run to make Lost Soul work. This was a run to make myself work, and myself is working, so that's nice. Oh, cool. <laughs> Another sack room. <laughs> if I get some red hearts lying around, I'll I'll consider it. What's in here? Try, baby! Sure. No greed! Holy crap. There's options will never actually will never pay out for me. Uh, because this is mom this floor, the next floor is mom's heart, so roll me. I guess I'll take Pokego. <laughs> what what else? What else, right? What else would I do? Here is the boss. Yeah, just go for the boss. There's probably an angel deal after. I'll use the magician, why not? No deal. Unfortunate. We're going down because I got so much HP to burn. Show me some money, dude. Oh, drop steam sale, perhaps? Hey, roll me. Mm, I should pick it up. At least get a rune out of it. I remember it this time around. That's the soul of Laz, right? Roll me again. Chaos! Yeah, sure. I'm getting one more deal this floor, so maybe I should have waited until I picked it up, but whatever. There goes Lost Soul again, by the way. I, I wasn't gonna comment on it. I was just gonna edit that entire part out, but you know what? Yeah, Lost Soul's dead. The more I think about it, the more I realize yeah, I definitely shouldn't have taken Chaos yet, but whatever. It's gonna be fun. Okay, well, yeah, I definitely shouldn't have, but at least I can generate pedestals with this guy. Boom. Mm, I can do better than the nail. I'll pick it up for the transformation. That's conjoined, sure. We're getting we're getting every transformation in the book, dude. Is settling for conjoined maybe a bit of a boring play? Yeah. But I got chaos anyway, so it's not like it matters where I reroll. What's in this room over here? I just ignored this room as well. Oh, another beggar, perhaps. Another couple of beggars, actually. I'll get all these guys to pay out. You'll pay out. I know he will. Your next charge beggar. There you go. And you think I can get the rotten beggar to pay out? It's not likely, it doesn't happen very often, but yeah, I doubt he will pay out. Then again, I got nothing else to spend my money on. Dump some more money into him. Hey, there we go, he actually paid out. Roll me! Uh, I'll take a succubus and roll the rest and uh, roll the rest again after this. Boom, nope, boom. Uh, that's a birthright. Yeah, sure, Isaac's birthright is crazy. I'll, uh, I'll roll that brimstone bombs because it's gonna cycle between two items. Let's just roll you once more. I guess I'll take Kane's other eye. Or evil eye, that's what it's called, evil eye. Does it even work with this with brimstone? I don't know. I don't know if it works. I don't really care. <laughs> anyway, mom's heart. You are absolutely going to be fricked up. Look at that. There's my angel deal. I don't even have to pay for my item in here. Curious, it's an angel item despite me having chaos. How does that happen? I, I didn't keep a charge for this. I just realized that's my mistake. I should have kept a charge for this. Okay. Apparently, I don't even need a charge to get uh, Cricket's head. That's cool. <laughs> Well, it's not like I can re-roll. I should have kept the roll for this, but I guess I'll take the soul and I guess I'll take breakfast and we're going down. I'm yelling timber. You gotta move, etc, etc. I was alive in the 2000s. I listened to popular music every once in a while. Not often, but every once in a while. I had the radio on when my parents were driving somewhere. It was just an item chilling in here. That's a bummer. Too bad it's not going to be a secret room item. I mean, Chaos has granted me Cricket Set, so I can't possibly complain about it screwing over some item room pool, like some, some item pools, but like, man, I could have had some like crazy secret room items or whatever. Yeah, double A battery works with overcharging, so I should be clearing rooms more instead of just like immediately using up my charges. By the way, there goes Lost Soul. Was bound to happen, to be fair. Uh, it's my first Guppy piece, so I don't care. That breaks the tier cap, but I don't care either. Uh, more trinket space? Maybe. I feel like I've got- if I've got chaos, I should just keep rolling, no matter what. Uh, do I want- I'll just take ceremonial robes. Is- is damage. Um, I'd rather save some charges for the- for the dark room. Hey, there's perfection. Cool. Maybe I should have taken mom's purse. <laughs> No, nah, I don't need counterfeit penny anymore, so it's fine. Let's go! What do we got down here? It's gonna be chaos, obviously. Genesis? I might actually use Genesis. Wouldn't it be funny if I just grabbed, like, a ton of items, and then I use Genesis? Although, using Forget Me Now would also be fun. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab, like, a ton of passives, and then I'm gonna use Genesis to, um, redraft my run at the very end, just because I think that'd be fun. I just beat the lamb real quick, should be easy. Yeah, it's easy as pie. There's a void portal, unfortunately, we're gonna Genesis first, so... And then I'll try to Genesis draft the craziest run possible. First of all, reroll you, grab another passive item, let's do it. Okay, yeah, I do get the D6, that's kind of cool. Oh, because I'm on the dark room, this gave me an extra bonus item. 
Okay, I should like just reroll right away then. Ah, uh, there's soy milk. That's huge. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, give me monstros with soy milk. That's gonna be kind of funky. Oh, but wait for chalky milk. Give me chalky. It's an okay fire rate. I feel like I, I feel like might have created like the world's worst synergy here. Now that I think about it. Uh oh well. Give me battery, I suppose. Do you want to give me the ED6? Roll me. Okay. This is something. This is something. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that's good. Slowly building the damage back up again. There you go. We're getting back to a pretty good, pretty good amount now. I'll take that. Uh, Sci-Fly? Sure. Why not? Star of Bethlehem. Why not? Uh, TM Trainer, huh? <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Not taking that. Hey, there's Brim again. Let's go. Oh my god. What the fuck? Give me Birthright again as well. Why not? This is taking ages. Here we go, baby. I think Mega Satan is gonna be pretty melted pretty quickly. What the fuck is happening? This looks insane. What is this white tentacle monster? The damage is absurd, obviously. What in the world? Bro, what the hell? Okay, I, I, for a minute I thought I had curated a terrible run. Nah, man, I have curated something incredible and I don't even know what's happening. Wowie. And you're not gonna give me the void. Fair enough. That was crazy. <laughs> wow.